Yeah. Good job at home. Please keep practicing, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, welcome back. Okay, we have to cover the verb to mean. Man, mean. Significar, querer decir. ¿Qué quiere decir esta palabra? What does this word mean? This word? Well, it means morros de caballo. It means the, the mouth of a horse. Belfos. What does, excuse me, what does belfos mean? Belfos? That means the lips of an animal, like a cow or a horse. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Uh, listen, there are a lot of words here, and I don't know what they mean. Uh, could you, can I ask you some questions? What, well, on camera one? Okay, let's go to camera one, please. Listen, there's a word here. I don't know what it means. Uh, there's, I don't, could, can you tell me, can you tell me what this word means? Yeah, what word? Apabuyar. Uh, well, apabuyar, let's see. That word means uh, to... To, I don't know, to crush, boom, figuratively, como aplastar, means to crush, but in a figurative way, boom, okay, that's what it means, good, uh, what, what does this word mean here, what does this word mean, do you, do you know what, do you know what this word means, right here, can you see it, do you know what this word means, let's see, uh, asomar, of course I know what it means, well, of course I know what it means. Well, well tell me, what, what does it mean? Asomar. I don't know. Well, watch. It's asomar. You see? Imagine this finger is a person, okay? And the person is behind the hand. And the person is going to asomar. Okay. It's going to look over in this case. But asomar also means to lean out. No asomes por la ventana. No te asomes por la ventana means don't lean, inclinarse fuera. Don't lean out. All right. So, that's what asomar means. Good, thank you. I think I get the idea of asomar. Uh, and uh, do you know what uh, this word means? What word? This word. Do you know what this word here, right here, this word here means? Uh, let's see. En ensimismado. Yes, I know what it means. I know what it means. Well, tell me, what does it mean? I don't know how to explain it. Uh, ensimismado means you are inside yourself. That you're very, not, not that you're intro. well, yes, you're introverted, but that you're very aware, very conscious of inside you, and you're not exteriorizing yourself you're very you're thinking a lot internally you're not that's very difficult for me to say Richard you're asking me a lot of things I know what the words mean but I don't know how to explain them well if you don't know how to explain them then you don't know what they mean wait that's not true the fact that I don't know how to explain what a word means doesn't mean that I don't know what it means I know what the word means. It's ensimismado. I know what it means, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to explain what it means. Well, if you don't know how to explain what it means, then you don't know what it means because it. If you can't explain to others what you feel or think, then what you feel or think is not relevant. Because you are not relevant except in your social interaction with others. So it's fine for you to be intelligent or to be knowledgeable or to know what everything means. But if you don't know how to transmit this, to convey this to society in general, then you are living in a vacuum, in un vacío. So you must learn how to express yourself, to express your feelings, to express your ideas in a way that people understand because then we can say you're intelligent, you're knowledgeable, because otherwise you're not. Do you know what I mean? Well, I think, yes, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, but I'm not sure if I agree. Okay, well, but in any case, I, 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 
I'm having some trouble understanding this text because there are a lot of words here that I don't know what they mean. Uh, now, do you know what, uh, Rafa, do you know what this word means here? Do you know what this word means? Uh, let's see. Um, oth. Uh, yes, I know what it means. Well, what does it mean? Oth? It means uh, it's an instrument you use in agriculture to cut the wheat for the harvest. Well, the harvest, you use a tractor and a, and a combine. No, you use a cosechadora, right? Well, now, yes, but many years ago, people used un oath. Yeah. Ah, do you know the, um, the symbol of the communism? Communism is the ocio martillo. Well, in English, we say the, com the symbol of communism is the uh, hammer. No, hammer is martillo. Well, in English, we say the hammer and sickle. Ah, lo dices al revés, el martillo la hoz. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, in English we say the symbol for communism is the hammer and the sickle. Okay, then oath is sickle. Okay, so oath here is sickle. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Ahora tiene sentido. Now the sentence makes sense. Now that I know what this word means, now it makes sense. Okay, oath. And the plural? Oath is? Oh. Okay, like cosas de caballo. All right, oath. That's what it means. Now the sentence makes sense. I didn't understand the sentence because I didn't understand this word. So, how do you spell sickle? Sickle, hammer and sickle. Sick, like enfermo. L-E. Sickle. All right, the hammer and the sickle. All right, I think. I'm not sure how to spell it. I never write that word. Good, now... I have another problem. This sentence, I don't, I don't understand this sentence because I don't know what this word means. Do you know what this word means here? Let's see. Patera. Uh, well, yes, I know what it means. Uh, what does it mean? Well, it means a boat. Okay, a boat. Just any kind of boat? Does it mean simply any kind of boat? No, it's a special boat. Well, okay, what's the difference between a buque and a patera? Puh, a buque is a vessel, it's a very big boat. And a patera, well, it's a small boat. Ah, good, como un bote remo, barca con remos. Well, not exactly, no. Well, what does it mean? Well, it means a type of boat that immigrants use who are usually the people who leave Africa, North Africa, and try to come to Europe, to Spain, to Portugal, to um, Italy, they cross the Mediterranean or the North Atlantic, uh, excuse me, or the Atlantic, uh, or the Strait of Gibraltar, on little boats that are called pateras. That's what it means. Oh, okay. Well, now the sentence makes sense. Now I understand it. Now I know what patera means, and now the sentence makes sense. All right. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Cuando los padres me preguntan ¿Cuándo debo iniciar a mi hijo en el inglés? Les digo que desde ya. En nuestra línea junior comenzamos con los niños de los 4 años y año tras año hasta los 17 seguimos con ellos. ¿Objetivo? Comprensión oral y soltura. Comprensión y soltura. El método Vaughan para niños y para jóvenes se divide en tres fases. La primera para niños de entre 4 y 7 años, donde abordamos cada temática a través de juegos, canciones, historias y manualidades. La segunda desde los 8 a los 10 años, donde las clases serán temáticas introduciendo el método Vaughan. La tercera fase es a partir de los 10 años, donde se agrupan a los jóvenes por su nivel para que aprendan el método Vaughan de forma íntegra. Los niños se hacen con el inglés oyéndolo y escuchándolo. Leer, escribir, gramática, eso viene después. Para pasar de un nivel insuficiente de inglés a, a tener un buen dominio, exige una apuesta fuerte en tiempo, esfuerzo y, y muchas veces en dinero también. Sin embargo, para los que llegan a buen puerto, el alivio es tremendo y la inversión rentable, muy rentable. Para gente con trabajo y familia, sé que es difícil. 
Pero si está usted dispuesto a hacer la apuesta personal, tendrá en nosotros y en nuestro EMIP un aliado. Eso sí, un aliado realista y exigente, pero un aliado. Alíese con nosotros y con nuestro EMIP, nuestro Executive Master en inglés profesional, y le ayudaremos a conseguirlo. Ahora sí que no tienes excusa para no escuchar Vaughan Radio, vayas donde vayas. Estrenamos aplicación para Android y Apple, para que nos lleves contigo a todas horas. Toda nuestra programación en directo, retos, podcasts y redes sociales disponibles a un solo clic, para que continúes mejorando tu inglés. Descárgala ya, no esperes más. ¿Por qué estás haciendo un más? ¿Crees que te van a contratar con el pobre inglés que tienes? Campus de inmersión inglés y fútbol. Con una agenda divertida, llena de actividades y, por supuesto, inglés. ¡Go for it! Si tienes hijos entre 8 y 15 años y su pasión es el fútbol, apúntales a nuestro campus de inmersión de inglés y fútbol, donde además de practicar su deporte favorito, aprenderán y hablarán inglés con Vaughan Systems. No te quedes sin tu plaza. 100% fútbol, 100% inglés. Learn It Like a Lady es un nuevo libro dedicado a mujeres de hoy en día, como tú. Aprenderás vocabulario esencial, consejos de pronunciación y trucos para mejorar tu fluidez de manera fácil y divertida. Todo ello acompañado de un audio descargable. Está creado para ayudarte a aprender el inglés que usarás en tu vida diaria. El talento, la innovación, experiencia y liderazgo a tu disposición. Para que puedas entender, aprender, comprender. Ahora en Bilbao descúbrenos en la avenida Leendacari Aguirre 26, Metro Deusto. El centro para la enseñanza y aprendizaje del idioma inglés para todas las edades, niveles y necesidades. No digas, esta vez voy a aprender inglés. Da el paso ahora. Grupo Baugan, cada vez más cerca. Si eres universitario o joven adulto, quiero hablarte del MIP, de nuestro Máster en Inglés Profesional. Cada año 50.000 jóvenes recién licenciados salen al mismo tiempo en busca de su primer empleo. ¿Eres uno de ellos? ¿Vas a ser pronto uno de ellos? ¿Cómo te vas a diferenciar de los demás, de los 50.000 competidores? ¿Cómo vas a conseguir no ser uno más del montón? Yo llevo casi 40 años aquí, enseñando inglés a directivos de empresa y haciendo pasillos. Y sé que cuando un joven con el inglés resuelto entra por la puerta de una empresa, casi se lo rifan entre los diferentes departamentos. Con el inglés resuelto, tu cotización subirá 100 veces. Y con nuestro MIP, nuestro Máster en Inglés Profesional, te daremos el inglés que quieres. Pero sobre todo, te daremos el inglés que ellos tanto, tanto necesitan. Do you know what I mean there? Do you know what I... Ah, oh, hello. Do you know what I mean? ¿Sabes lo que quiero decir? To mean. What does life mean for you? What does perfecting the English really mean to you? Darling, I love you. You mean everything to me. You mean the world to me. You don't realize how much you mean to me. No, you only want me for my body. No, 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 that's not true. You really mean a lot to me. You mean so much to me. I can't conceive of life without you. You mean so much to me. I don't mean anything to you. That's not true. You mean a lot to me. Hmm. And you as a student, you mean a lot to me, especially if you study a lot. You mean a lot to me. See you in a few minutes. Hello there, and very, you're very welcome to the show. It's nice to see you. My name is Fitz, and we are here with Annette. Annette is a happy student. Why are you such a happy student? You're just a happy student. Okay. There is no reason. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so let's go. Today we're going to practice with the verb to mean. To mean something. What something means okay 
How would you say that in Spanish? The verb to mean in Spanish. Eh, quiere, Sign significado. Okay. Significado. Okay. So we're going to practice with this with this verb. Okay. Ask me if like and love mean the same thing. Does oh, you have two? So oh. do like and love mean the same thing? Very good. And again. Do uh, love and like mean the same thing? Okay, so do like and love mean the same thing? No, I think they mean different things. Okay, what does Argentina mean? Uh, Argentina means very good. Argentina something means. Uh, to do it comes from it has or something, something to do to, with uh, silver. Silver. So something it, it means something to do with silver. Can you say it again? It means something to do with silver. Okay, and yesterday? It meant Excellent. something to do with silver. Very good. So, what does it mean? It means something to do with silver. And yesterday, it meant something to do with silver. Okay, what does Annette mean? Annette means Anna in Spanish. Okay, so Annette means Anna. What did it mean yesterday? It meant... Uh, Anna. Okay. What will it mean tomorrow? It will mean. Uh, it will mean. Anna. It will mean. Very good. So, what what does it mean? It means Anna. What did it mean? It meant Anna. What will it mean? It will or it'll mean Anna. Okay. And can you give me a negative in the future? It won't mean Anna. Very good. It won't mean Anna. And a question? Uh, will it? mean Anna. Excellent. Will it mean Anna? It won't mean Anna. It means Anna. It doesn't mean Anna. Does it mean Anna? Okay. What does Buenos Aires mean? Uh, Buenos Aires means uh, Buenos Aires. Okay. So good. <laughs> good. Uh, air, no? Air. Good air. Okay. So what does it mean? It means good air. And 20 years ago, what did it mean? It meant Good air. Okay, and a negative? It didn't mean good airs. And a, okay, and a question? Uh, did it mean good airs? Okay, and in the future, tomorrow? It will mean good airs tomorrow. Very good, and a question tomorrow? Will it mean good airs tomorrow? Excellent, and a negative? It won't mean good airs tomorrow. Excellent, and it's very good. So it will or it'll mean good airs tomorrow. It won't mean will it mean okay uh, what does cafe con leche mean cafe con leche means uh, coffee and milk coffee coffee with milk or coffee with coffee with milk so it means coffee with milk it means coffee with milk can you give me a negative it uh, won't or mean right now uh, it doesn't mean coffee and milk okay it doesn't mean it means. And a question right now? Uh, does it mean coffee and milk? Okay. Does it mean coffee and milk? And yesterday? Uh, yesterday it didn't mean coffee and milk. Okay. And a positive yesterday? Yesterday it meant coffee and milk. Okay. Excellent. It meant, it meant coffee with milk. It meant coffee with milk. It didn't mean coffee with milk. Did it mean coffee with milk? Okay. What does lazy mean? Lazy, a lazy person. A lazy person is a un vago. Un vago. Okay, so I'll, what does it mean? It means un, un vago. Okay, what does un vago mean? Uh, it, a lazy person. And it means? It means a lazy person. And a negative? It um, meant... Uh, right, right it now? It doesn't mean a lazy person. And yesterday? It meant a 